Hello my friends, we've just parked the car up in a car park between Beaumont and St. Aubin on the island of Jersey Channel Islands. It's a nice day, so we, uh, Paddy and I, are going to walk down to St. Aubin, have a look around and then walk back. I was just going to walk along the pathway, but Paddy's had other ideas, so we're going on the beach. Come on. You may be able to see here St. Oban's Fort, just to the left of the headland, which was built in 1542. The tower was one story high and had embrasures for ordnance. Its purpose was to delay an attacking enemy whilst the local forces organised themselves. The original masonry still forms the lower half of the tower, which was added to in later centuries. I think the walk will take us about 40 minutes, so as I have been doing recently, I'm going to split this video into two. So you're now watching part one of my video, A Walk Around St. Obin. It's not a particularly great day today, but I have to say in the sort of 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, there would have been a lot more people on the beach on a day like this. Mind you, I have memories from my teen years of people basically trying to cook themselves. People would cover themselves in coconut oil and try and get as brown as possible. Today, uh, people seem to be a lot more sensible when it comes to the harmful effects of the sun. And I suppose that might explain why there's uh, fewer people on the beach. Hey. Anyway, it's great to be out with Paddy. He just loves the beach. Have No.
I think I've mentioned before that I had a heart attack a couple of years ago and uh, a day or so ago I had to go into the doctors for my annual checkup. I've lost 10 pounds since they've last weighed me and I don't think my weight loss is down to me giving up potato crisps, chocolate and cream cakes because I haven't. So I'm thinking that becoming the reluctant outdoorsman is definitely helping me in this respect. Because in addition to me playing my normal two or three rounds of golf a week, I'm now probably going on two or three hour long walks. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you'll know that there seems to be scaffold everywhere and here's some more. Right, we're coming into St. Oban itself. It seems that we're not 100% sure who St. Obin was, but it was probably St. Obin, Bishop of Anjou, who died in the year 550, only to miraculously reappear some 400 years later. Wow, I didn't know they'd moved the hair from the tortoise takeover uh, to St. Obin's. 
if you haven't seen my tortoise takeover town trail videos then check them out if you don't know the story um, 50 giant tortoise sculptures have been placed across Jersey and one hair the hair is moved to a different location each week and we've just come across it and I have to say it is fantastic St Oban is a lovely little town and port in the parish of St Brellard. Originally a fishing village, historically it became the centre for international trade as it had the only large port on the island. And St Helia only had a small quay until 1840. However, after St Helia's harbours were developed, it displaced St Oban as the major trading post. This building on the left is St Brellard's Parish Hall. Oh yes, and uh, by the way, don't worry, you haven't had one too many. That was a knitted octopus sat on top of the post box. That's the harbour to the left. We'll take a better look at it once we've done a loop over the hill. There are lots of restaurants and bars in St Oban. That's the Shapla Indian restaurant on the left. We've turned into La Rue O Moestre. I've never noticed this before, but how narrow are the top two floors on this building coming up on the left? This is a beautiful street and you'll see some fantastic houses coming up soon. I mean, talk about having a parking space with a view. Wow.
Here's the Somerville Hotel, four star, fully refurbished in 2022 with absolutely amazing views over St. Obins Bay. That's the Royal Channel Islands Yacht Club on the right. So we're halfway through our stroll around St. Obens. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Also, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button or leave a comment. Be sure to watch part two, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll see you all again soon.